There's clearly a huge depth of talent in Derry when you consider there are now nine changes for this Division 1 final. The Kingdom team sheet could equally stimulate much debate. No that O'Shea due to injury means Anthony Marr partners Michael Quirk in the middle of the field. Last year's captain Paul Galvin is a late absentee. He has growing problems, so his place goes to Dunica Watch. Marty Duffy from Enniscroen, Kilglass and County Sligo is the match referee. Well, here we go. Division 1 final, repeat of last year. Derry won the toss, they decided to play from right to left. The game is up. Darren O'Sullivan, out injured recently, turning to the fray and already swapping positions with Dunica Walsh. Tommy Walsh. Darren is available, still Tommy. Curling it. But it goes across the face of the goals and walked. Hard working on Bradley. Paddy Brown. Lovely balance. Lovely footwork. Great score. Again, first to the ball is on Bradley. Back for Sean Leo. He's had a good uh, league campaign. Before he says play hard. Chance here for Chris McKay. Start for the late addition to the starting 15. Kieran Donaghy puts it back again towards Michael Clark. Oh, lovely move! Chance of a goal! Excellent! Delica Watch comes in for last year's captain Paul Galvin. Up to now, all he had scored in the league was a point against Westmead. But the old 1 2 3 works still in carry. Quirk from Donaghy to watch. Oh, and he took it away beautifully. Just watch the side foot here. He knew exactly what he was doing. Oh, oh terrible ball from David Murphy. And coming in is own Bradley. Kerry could be in a spot of bother here. Bradley takes his point. The most uncharacteristic mistake by David Murphy. Tomas O'Shea. In that familiar style, he's going for the point here. Class act. Scored two times in the league campaign to his captain Darren O'Sullivan. To the gooch. Three Derry defenders around him. Still unstoppable. He scored two goals of 28 points in this league campaign. Is that a foul throw? Referee didn't think so. Kieran Donaghy, Tommy Walsh, gathers cleanly, nobody coming through the middle, Walsh trying to turn, this time, he finds the target, he's had a few misses earlier, Owen Bradley, Paul Murphy, steadying himself, with a kick, it results in another Derry point, points coming into this league final. Minute of additional time to be added on in this first half. Kevin McCloy. His dominance uh, fading a little bit now that he has taken up the responsibility of marking Tommy Walsh. Clever move by the Kerry management it must be said to move Walsh in on McCloy. He was winning every single ball. They moved Donaghy out around midfield and Walsh is posing problems. Fergal Doherty, lobbing this one in, and it's a good ball. Oh, Bradley can reach it. Sean Liam and Goldrick is outside. Bradley is going for the score himself. It's his third in this league final. He did all the hard work, all the creativity. Once he goes forward, you can almost guarantee that Tomas O'Shea 
saw that uh, Gooch saw him there, got to the corner of his eye, obviously got the call. But once O'Shea goes forward into those kind of positions, it's nearly always a point. Christian McCaig setting up Sean Leo McGoldrick. Owen Bradley getting the call from Brother Paddy. And they have the opportunity here in the lane. Kicks it over the crossbar, and perhaps, just maybe, there's a goal scoring opportunity on. McGuigan again. Mark Lynch gets into a good position and takes his point with a degree of confidence. And he did score three times a couple of weeks ago in Mahara against an goal. Seems to be enjoying a rich vein of form at the moment. Touched along the ground. More precisely, picked up off the ground by Endelin. From also Shea, Canelli is the support player. Number 21 on his back. Will it be 21 or under in the championship? And I have my doubts. Nice combination. Here's the center half back of Mahadeh. Scored a goal against Dublin. Scores a point against Derry in the league final. Good combination play between Tomas O'Shea, Ty Canelli, and indeed Declan O'Sullivan before Canelli set up Aidan O'Mahony to re establish Kerry's lead of three points. What's the right then? Fergal Doherty. Go for the long ball. It's three against one. Paddy Bradley is underneath it. There's a chance here for Gary, and that, with the help of the post, goes over the bar. Seamus Bradley can take credit for this one. Paddy Bradley just got a fingertip to it. Bradley got the boot to it. Thomas Silver misjudged. And it's now Kerry 113, Derry 14 points. David Moore making a good costly run is Sean O'Sullivan willing to take on Sean Leo McGoldrick that comes back off the post chance for Kerry it's over the bar wise move by Colin Cooper guaranteeing now surely that Kerry have regained the lead title Two minutes of additional time has just been announced. Here's the ball off the pulse. Here's Gooch. Could easily have gone for goal, but a four-point difference now between the teams. Anxious face of Damien Cassidy. Into lane. Now, do we really have to maximise the possession here? Harry's marking. It's just a little bit loose. James Keat. Dropping it in long. Well won. Good score. Old Bradley will take the credit. Still, Dunica Walsh's goal from the first half remains the difference between the teams. Jack O'Connor guided Kolashta Neskelega to the All-Ireland College's title just a few weeks ago. And guess what? He's also guided Kerry to the National Football League Division 1 title, their first since 2006, and overall Kerry's 19th title. The National League title that was won by Derry has been uh, returned back to the Kerry boys in a reversal of last year's result. Full-time score in Crow Park, it's Kerry 1 goal and 15 points. Derry, 15 points. A fine performance today. And it gives me great pleasure now presenting the trophy to our standing captain, Darren O'Sullivan. The brand new president of the GA, Christy Cooney from Yall and County Cork, presents the Division 1 title to a Kerry man. It's Darren O'Sullivan, Kerry, league champions for the 19th time in their history.